Good evening and welcome to another edition of Beard Dad's Beer Reviews with me, Dave the Beer Dad, back again for the, fan, the final fanzine beer review. I've done the Origami Outlaw, I've done the uh, Sonic Temple, and the last one is 10%er, the big hitter in this pack, and it's the uh, Tsar Struck Imperial um, Stout, and it does, as I say, weighs in at, I say 10%, it's not 9.1, I'm such a liar. <laughs> right, I am... Um, 9.1 IBUs are 78 and neutral gravity is 1.080. Uh, malts are pale, pale, beach smoked, black, uh, carafe, chocolate, and flaked oats. Kettle hops are Hanato, Taurus, and Cascade. The Whirlpool hops are um, Goldings, uh, Northern Brewer. And the additions of Demerara Sugar says all that on the back there. Best before on this one is the 5th of June 2021. Says so there. This has been a good pack. Um, good fanzine pack this month for me. Enjoyed all the beers. Um, Sonic Temple was quite good with the hibiscus and the yuzu. Um, that was, I thought that was, that was quite... No, sorry. The origami outlaw with the hibiscus and yuzu I thought was quite a nice drink. And the Sun Temple with the uh, Guava, the IPA. That was really nice. So, don't know what we're going to get with this. Let's just pop it up and see what we've got. As I've said along for, for a few times now, the one thing that BrewDog do is they make really high-end Imperial Stouts, in my opinion. High-strength ABV stuff is really good. They had the alcohol superbly well. Okay, so beer in a glass, jet black, as you'd expect. No light getting through that whatsoever. There it is. We've got a finger of tanned uh, head. There's a aromas coming off that already of vanilla and chocolate and sort of that far away from me, so it's got a pretty, he pretty heady already. Um, looks good, looks like a really good stout. So let's get our nose stuck in and see what we can smell. It's vanilla. It's chocolate, um, cream. Honeycomb. Butterscotch. Caramel. The usual stuff you'd again, the stuff you'd usually expect from a, a really good Imperial Stout. There's no coffee on it that I can smell, but you never know, it might be hidden if it's on the taste. Let's get in there. Got a nice, rich mouthfeel. A really light carbonation. It's really nice. Fit it's it just yeah, it's lovely. Got a lovely mouthfeel to it. Fits on the palate quite nicely. Let's go for a big gobful. It's really tasty. It's really, really tasty. A little bit of alcohol does come through. There's a lot of um Dark roasted malt coming through. And that, that, that sounds kind of carrying on right to the very end. But then you get little little pin fricks and little splashes of colour. When it comes, you get a bit of chocolate sweetness, you get a little bit of cream, you get a little bit of caramel. There's a little bit of smokiness to it as well, which is really nice. Um, I say that, that that roasted malt carries on right to the very end. You're left with a little bit of sweetness and a bit of roasted malt. And that's how it works, this powder's be awake and it's absolutely delicious. <laughs> we don't really get any of the the nine point one percent. You kinda get a little bit of a feeling here, but it's not 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 bad, it's it's not uncomfortable, it's quite pleasant, it's warm. And that is a that's that's good, I like that. That sweetness is lovely too. The then rare sugar just comes through. I say it comes through with the with some chocolate. Comes through with some with some vanilla. Yeah, it's lovely. It's smooth. Right, I'm gonna go away and finish this off somewhere else. Because there's a TV program at Chernobyl I wanna watch. So if you've had this beer, Zarstruck by Brewdog, let me know what you think. 
Um, I like it. I'd buy this if it became a mainstream beer. Um, and I'm, I'm, I'm going to recommend it to friends. Um, again, it'd be one of these ones out on the, on, on, on tap, see what it's like. Um, I'm pretty sure it would be absolutely fantastic. Um, you want to subscribe, sign up for the fancy and hit the Brewdog website. The link's going to be below. Um, it's on there. It's £11 a month, three beers. And away you go. Excuse me. If you're watching for the first time, hit the subscribe button. If you like what you see, do that. If you like what you see, do that. Um, I'm going to go and enjoy this. 9.1% Imperial. See you in the next one. Hey, Leo.